gimbal kicking in. Five, four, three, two, one. Secret vault. My feet are soaking. I've been up to the top of my ankles and over the top of my boots in mud to bring you this crap. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. <laughs> it's nuts. They've got robot security cameras all around the place because they've got diggers on here. So we've just found a way through. But look what we've got. Look what we've got. Oh my God, that goes up a long way. And, oops, in addition to that, we have a Sam hey. and a Jess. <laughs> Hello. Oops, sorry, I'm stepping on your toe. Bloody hell, I can't see what I'm doing now. Well, it's better be worth it. Well, we know it's worth it. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> it I, I did. I did question our sanity when we were like sort of crossing across this mud pit over here. By the way, there's houses down there they're building. Don't come in from there. If you can find a way to come in down there, there's, there's a car parked up. But find a way to come in from there. <laughs> yeah. The Mandalorian says, this is the way. Right then. Could you hold on to this for us a sec, sir? sound zone. You can hear it immediately, it's like mm -hmm. everything's gone dead. Mm -hmm. It's just like the sound's just gone. There's no echo. You expect there to be an echo? Oh my god, there's no echo. Look where we are! Disneyland! Disneyland! That's like something the space shuttle would be up against to go for a launch. Oh my god. <sighs> Hang on, I gotta I'm gonna change my um, white balance a sec. I think we've got these. These looks like air filters. They've, they've been repurposed as they're like cushions. Cushions. They're not air filters. They're actually cushions. And they've got this mesh. This mesh has been put on them to make them stronger, so they'll stay up. But they're just cushions, like you'd get on a settee. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that hole! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is immense! Oh! Scale! Look, there's Jess. It's crazy. There's that hole. Wow! What's this thing on the floor then? It looks like um, it's circular, almost as if 
it can move something around maybe, like uh, on a on a gantry. Here we are, that's a sense of scale for you now. You can just shout now. Hello? Hello? There's no echo. Crazy. So I bet the sound doesn't leave this room either. So you could be screaming for help and it just deadens everything. Is there anywhere to go if you go up through there? Is there not? Uh, hang on, I'll give you a bit of extra light now. Three. Two, one, watch your eyes. Yeah, we might be able to get into it by going around the side, perhaps. I have seen people jumping down that in videos. Yeah. What have we got then? Let's have a look. This is like a camera jib, a camera arm, or arms for microphones. Jib arms. So you can just push them up. Oh, they would have probably had some sort of sensors or, or gear on them. Whew, I'm going to take my hat off. It's pretty warm in here. And they go all the way around there. It's bizarre. So they've got platforms for checking things out halfway up. And there. Oh, he's managed to get up, look. He's managed to do it. So, are you going to check it out then? See where it goes. Off he goes into the unknown. He got his hat. That uh, nice hat is light. You got those lights with you? Oh, yeah. You got them, yeah. Yeah. Because he, I don't know if he seems to have it on or. <laughs> Can I give that to you, sir? Just go sense the sun. Here we go, folks. Scale. One secret vault versus up there. But, uh, there we go. Paranoia. I want to check my yeah my my very expensive night vision. <laughs> Let's check that's in there. Like double and triple check. All right. That should be fine. Let's do my belt up and let's start climbing. I'm interested to see where he comes out, but there is a side door, see, so we could, could go down here, meet him. I think there's a side door. It's like hidden. What's that? Is that a side door? Pull handle, push bar to open. Pull handle. Fire exit, keep clear. So this must be to the outdoors then. Push bar to open. There's alarms on it, but sod that. I have to find another way. <clears throat> what? Probably won't hear you.
Right, I'm going to stop filming for a minute because I'm going to clean all the mud and rocks out of my boots. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's where we came in. Yeah. What about to the left of it? That just says a fire exit. And that is what, main doors? It's weird, you'd think there'd be a door. Maybe you've got to go out of the building, down and in through another bit to get to the door. Anyway, I'm going to stop filming for a second and get this crap out of my boots. I've been procrastinating for a while now. My boots are feeling better. So, better try and do something. But you don't reckon it goes anywhere in particular up there, has it? No, there's just one room at the back. Okay. And there's no doors off that room? Yeah, to the outside. Ah, a bit like this room then. And he just told us that when Jess was just shouting to him, full full pelt, he didn't hear a thing in the other room. Nothing. And she was just going, hello, and he's only over there, Were and he shouting? couldn't hear. Yeah. yeah. Well, mad. mad. Right. Some industrial grade foam, this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have to hand this to you now in a sec. Look at me, look at me, mummy, I can climb up some industrial great foam, uh, mummy, <laughs> I can climb up there. Uh. Right. Can you move back and point it at us a bit? Cheers, man. Oh, right, I'm going to put my light on so we see what... Oh, I was going to say. Uh, hooks, these things, is it? Yeah, those things, yeah. Very much, sir. No wow. Here comes Jess. This? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these two are the best. Yeah. Wow. So. It's fine. So that's the uh, right up to the ceiling. And here we are inside this weird chamber, which is made out of uh, grill. Alright then. I wonder if they're not allowed to knock this building down because it was important to the research into jet engines and stuff, it might be listed. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I see. It's just a step down. Can I, uh, Duncan? See how this thing's made now. It's all the uh, metal girders that make it up. So let's have a quick look what's underneath it. There we go. That was, that's what makes it up. Wow. That's a solid bit of kit. One, two, three. A little bit of echo in here. One. But I think it's just bounced back off the back of the metal. One. So we've got a steps off the back. It says pull handle. I wonder what that does. Pull handle. Seems to be an electrical wire, maybe it's to turn things off or something. <gasps> oh shit, that's tall. Didn't realise it was that tall. Bloody hell. Mm. Oh, that was a bit of a surprise. Hmm. Yep. Oh, he's up on something quite high. Oh, cool.
cool klaxon here. Yeah? Alarm klaxon. Wow. And it's actually called a klaxon. <laughs> it is a klaxon. Birmingham. Birmingham. There must have been a company called klaxon then. Oh, it's not as high as I thought, but it shocked me at first. I was like, whoa. So, concrete. What's this then? Still, still padded floors. Padded grill floors. Concrete. It looked like there was something here. Maybe, maybe these panels, but the panels have been taken off for some reason. Vents. Maybe when the the exhaust comes out, it hit that wall, channels around the side, comes round again and in through this. To probably split it two ways, so the jet goes two ways. So that halves it. Then it curves the power to take some of the energy out of it. it brings it in here, takes it through there take even more of the energy out of it. It's probably all about stretching, stretching it out and slowing it down, I suppose. I see, I've seen people squeezing through these. A bit harder a camera bag, but is it worth it? Is there anything in there worth having a look at? I see him go through. No, he can go through that. He's got no problem. Thin thin boy. Oh, I got no problem as well. Oh, wow. Microphone stands. Wow. 240 and 110. So those lights, just to tell you whether the power is working correctly for the emergency system. So here we go again. So it's the vents which go in there which are tight, they're tight, then become bigger. So it expand, expands the pressure air. So these probably, I would imagine, keep the pressure of the air there as it comes through into here, then it's, it's just basically reducing the pressure as it comes out. So the chamber's getting wider and wider. It's taking the force out of the, the thrust, I would imagine. And then it goes sideways again. So after it's come in there, it's come through here, it hits another wall, forced to turn sideways again, and spins around in this chamber, but this time, to take all the last bits of the pressure out, you've got these extractors, and uh, takes it all up and away. And probably because the sound is pointing straight up when it goes out, it probably doesn't hit the local so bad. Whereas if it was coming sideways out, it would make a hell of a racket. But if you can slow it down enough and get it going straight up, it's got nothing to hit. So it just goes straight to the sky. Matt's. Matt's made it up. Physics lesson. No, I'm just guessing. And this one's interesting because it's got a lot of pipes going through it. Pressure pipes, prob probably. These are to taste, take um, pressure readings of the vacuum and it comes down here to junction points junction points so it tells you different parts of up there how much it's doing could be just pressure unlikely to be temperature just pressure but then it's going down there to some sort of uh, unit or sensors and out into another room We've got here a big speaker. It's a big old speaker to try and tell people stuff. Philips, big old speaker. Yeah, these pipes are coming through into here. And then they go through the wall. And they've gummed it up with um, silicone to sort of seal the wall so they don't lose pressure. There's a lot of them, look, there's these here. And they all come through that hole. So I'll have to look on the other side and see if we can spot where they come through on the other side. So this might have been a door into the other room at some point, but it's it's probably covered up by these uh, 
these, yeah, I was going to say, this stuff, well, no, it's not covered up by that stuff, it's actually concrete. So there's no way into the other room that we can see. But we've got more of the same, more of the same vents up. More of the same vents here. Could you get out? There's a lawn there, but it's not turned on. There's no lights on it, he says. Hello! So there's a big old... Uh, this one seems to open. Ooh, to a door with another alarm on it, but I'm assuming it doesn't work. Does it work? Well, there's, there's nails. I think they put wood through this to stop it opening, so that isn't going to open anytime soon. Damn. Another one of these pull switches here. I would imagine that any, any one of these that's pulled down would shut everything off. So they've all got to be in, like, in an upright position for the operation. If any one of these comes down, somebody grabbing onto it, mm -hmm. everything will shut down. But it's quite an interesting place. What's this Jingo? Jingo Uncharted. I don't know what that is. Ah, it reminds me, I've got stickers here, secret vault stickers, which I always forget to put out places, but... Do you want to hold on to that sec? I'll stick a secret vault sticker out now. I brought these the last, like, eight, nine visits, and I just forget. <laughs> Make sure you tell mummy where you're going when you go when you come out from school. <laughs> uh, yeah. Get my bag. Some up. Uh. Cool. So you've been up these ones to see if they're open and they're not, yeah? Probably not. Check that one. No. I reckon they're all probably wooden thing. Here we got an emergency pull handle again. Look, emergency pull handle. Nope. Nope. You're kind of trapped in this bit then. It's a high ceiling. Got some old vents there, is it? Underneath. In a little store. Store area. Metal vents. You'd think all this stuff, if it was there when it was running, it would be all sort of thrown out, but. Maybe it just sort of goes round like a washing machine in there. <laughs> All this stuff like rattling about. Oh look, some of these glasses there. Are those actual glasses or sunglasses? They look like actual glasses. They lost one. Oh, they've thrown it away because they've lost one. Shit. That might have fallen out of somebody's bag or something. 
<laughs> yeah, you look looks, quite, looks, looks good, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's proper deputy deputy dog, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. What's this as well? Oh, look, there's the lens. There's the lens. Well, do you know what? Should we take it? Should we take it home with us? And if somebody tells us whose it is, because that's probably about hundred quid's worth of lenses there. If they want them, we'll return them to you. Mm -hmm. Are they scratched up too bad, you reckon? Not too bad, actually. Don't look too bad, does it? Yeah. That one's pretty good. And it's only been slightly bent. Perhaps they didn't know where they put them. Do you reckon we should take them and offer somebody's yeah. glasses hundred quid, in it? Flatten them out a bit, or? Right. Uh, go on, oh. Oh. We oh no. You're fucking having a laugh. Oh, <laughs> fuck it, I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> fucking edit that out. Cut that out. <laughs> it's just dropped them and they just exploded. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave it in. It's quite stupid. I was just gonna bend them straight and they just like fell on the floor and they just all fell apart. Big doors, but not open again. I was gonna help some bloody explorer then, like, you know, save him a hundred quid. You may have to push whilst it... Do you wanna give it a push whilst you hold it? No, try it. Like. No. Oh no, look, nails. Nails. Oh dear, we've got to climb back up and go through the sponge sponge thing. Did it have a date on it? No. It's a date. Did it have a date on the paper? Oh, you, yes. Right. I thought I, I thought I heard you saying something like a date. Yeah, thanks. I'm surprised there's not more like build up of soot because of the uh, jet engine stuff. But. I think, I think you can see how to the daylight out there. There's like, can you see through it? You can actually see daylight. That's where the air comes in. Lots of little holes. Right then. So we want to go up and I'll pass. Oh, cheers. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's so kind. Better in here than out in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> wow. down there like that, press the button once it'll hold the position. Oops. And I'll, I'll jump down a sec. Oops, that's a bit sharp. Come. 
people were saying that you couldn't get in here, but, uh, and they were saying it had been demolished, it was going to be demolished, and then it, it turns out that all they've demolished so far is the pipe that goes out from the, the side of the building, which I believe is in the direction we're going to go in a minute, where we saw the outside light, and that pipe would have been either the exhaust or you know what, I think, I got a funny feeling, those were the air intakes, those were the air intakes, and I got a feeling that pipe was probably the out exhaust. So everything you heard me say earlier on could be wrong, but it's 50-50. I'm just thinking now, if if the air comes in from outside, blown in by the fans, it's at, it's wider as it goes through narrower and narrower. It goes faster, faster before it goes into the into the jets. Maybe that was the way in for the air, and the reason it was getting smaller and smaller is because as the air is compressed smaller and smaller, it has to go faster to shoot through the same distance gap. So. All oh, right, so there's a stairs over there, and we're inside now. Let's have a look, a little look at this equipment stuff here. This looks quite interesting. RS, unregulated power supplies. Pressure stuff. Emergency eye washes. They've sprayed yellow on certain things here, yellow, 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 so they were marking out possibly whether some of this stuff was uh, live or deactivated, but the, the yellow as they're getting the site. Is there nothing in there? Uh, yeah, some stuff. Does it have steps going up? So this way again, we see a lot of this yellow spray stuff and an emergency pull handle. But uh, lif lifting equipment, colour code. Wow, this is interesting. So, lots of BNC connectors for video or high frequency. So, this was probably racks for test equipment, high frequency test equipment. Yeah. And pressure calibration high pressure, calibration low pressure, input pressure to Ruska. To Ruska, R U S K A, nitrogen control cabinet, scan valve, Mensa, Mensa low, Mensa, Mensa, look. release valves, and pressure selection. So you pull it out, twist, 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 push it in to lock it and release. Ah, interesting. God knows what it all did, but uh, you can see some of those pressure pipes that may have gone from where we were earlier on. There's that, that sort of pressure stuff. Compressor, compressor, operational breaker. Hmm. There's pigeons in here somewhere. Circuit breakers and pigeon poo. Pigeon poo, there they are, nesting up there. So we've got emergency exits, chains, we've got a lifter there, goes across across the top at an angle. Can you hear that? Is that an aircraft? Yeah, isn't it? I thought it sounded like electric, but it was like... It's an aircraft. So push bar to open. It's kind of like a space age... Space age door. Is it going to be open? Doubt it. Oh yes, it is. So this is a way in.
bypass core. So we can have a look up here. I think this is on the back of the back of the building where the vents go in. Back of the building, look. Wow, here we are. Sounds like electrical buzzing, doesn't it? So this is the vents. They go in and they break two ways. So it goes in and breaks left, breaks right. Break left, break right. Yep. So we've got more steps leading up to higher parts of the building, but I don't know if we can get in up there. Should we see if there's another way to get up inside? Slightly spotting the rain as well, so. Looks like the door's open over there as well. So this is where they've smashed everything off. So there would have been the pipe coming out of there. Whoa. So, now there's a sort of a gantry, but you can't see how you get up to it. Have to have a ladder or something, but uh, can't see a way. I'll just check my uh, my lens. It's outside. That was what we could hear with the. Um, that's a substation, isn't it? Yeah. Off in the distance. All right. So we came in that way. Oh, we've been we've been in there. Lifting equipment. Oh, hang on. We got some. Stickers here, look. UETD, Freaky Deaky Picks, UETD, Urban Explorers, Timeless Decay. Don't know who that is, but. Sort it out, boys. Secret Vault, bigger than yours. <laughs> look, and it's got secret things in it as well that you have to try and work out. And there is a code there. Mysterious code. If anyone solves the code, I think win a win a night in a sauna with me. So don't so don't get uh, too clever on those codes, folks. Because uh, you wouldn't want that, would you? All right. I thought this was open. This one. Through the back. No, another one that's sealed in. All screwed up. Right. right. Where are we going to go next then? I suppose those steps are literally just going to take you out onto high gantries up at the top you know like up there but what about the highest ones of all though? where do they go be nice to get this thing up and running get a little ride in the air can you hear noises Stomach. Oh, maybe not. Probably was my stomach. It's talking to me, going, feed me. Right, these are quite interesting. Lifting platforms that you wind the handle there and it has cable and it'll lift things up and down, maybe. So you can lift sensors into the air or... But that, that isn't held in by anything, so would that fall over if it was pushed? Mm. What the hell do you do? There's a wire here you have to tug. 
for something. Oh, there's nothing at the top of it. Oh, there we go. So that sends things up in the air, look. It's doing the handle, look. And then you can lift things. But some of them have been pushed over by somebody. See, these ones here have been pushed over. Interesting. Wow. And these ones have been smashed a bit. Somebody's been having a laugh. That's probably just a door to the outside, as we've seen many times before. Is that just a door to the outside as well? Probably. Up there. Looks like we've done it. Yeah, I think so. Anything we could be missing then? Like how to, how, how to get up there would be cool. There's a um, there's a handle there. Well, it's not a handle. Sorry, what am I saying? There's a screw, a lever screw, and it comes down to a universal joint which is taking it slightly sideways into this bar system so you can put a you can put something to wind it on there but it comes over here there's a motor there so that motor will actuate both sides at the same time and it will screw this thing up and down so this is like a lift mechanism so if you power this up you power this motor here and this mechanism will slide up which means that probably a lot of that above us could come down. So, and there's some sort of handle there. Is that a brake or a lock or something? But you could wind it manually, but it'd probably be quite hard against the force of the motor. You'd have to have a handle there. So that went up and down. And there's this weird extension arm over here as well. Quite heavy duty. And it looks like it's got a hydraulic piston ram there, which can push it. And then it means that that can move around. Ah, it moves around. <laughs> it means that this arm can move around. And when it moves into position, you see that black thing there? There's a pin. It's an actuate, it's a pin to lock it. So it goes through those holes. So that comes round. When it when it when it comes together, it comes into position. There's a pin, and it goes and fires up to lock it in position. So, hmm. Wonder what would have been on the end of that arm then. Those look like sensors of some description, but maybe more stuff would get put on there but, but I don't know why they need to bring it in and out of the airstream at different times you know why would they need to have it in the airstream and out of the airstream don't know and there's a uh, there's a lift mechanism which is what they were talking about the lift room which is in here this room operates lifting Equipment, which would include that on the ceiling, probably include the motor for this as well. So it's where you'd switch the switches to get that to go up and down. And you can see there's long cables there, dangling cables, which would have taken up the slack for whatever sensors were on there, so it could come down and go up. It would take the slack there. Hmm, okay. Wow. I have to try and find some videos of it in action now. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Oh, there's a security camera up there. Security camera. Well, I think we've sort of seen about as much as we can see. 
There is this nice little uh, channel going around the back in a curve, and there's a smaller channel here. So maybe at some point in the past, or oh, there's some sort of equipment that can be put around here on a rail or something, maybe. I'm curious what's underneath this, whether it's a rail or whether it's um, electrics. At the moment, it's nothing but dirt and cables. So it might just be a cable run. But the fact that they, want, they, they wanted to get access to some bits, oh, like this, lift it up. Um, the fact that they wanted to do that might, might have meant that it was for some piece of equipment. And perhaps these were actually the rails. Perhaps these edge bits were the metal rails. God knows. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. I sound like a YouTuber now, don't I, everybody? <laughs> like, subscribe, t-shirts, women, drugs, and a farm in the countryside. I'll get me demonetized. Oh well, let's get the old light down a bit. Create less of a less of a tension. But uh, let's get my hat on. Oh, wind's going again. There we go. Um, any more of a walk round and there's any other places there seems to be equipment up there it's like equipment room oh shit look. oh you looked through that did you whoops a daisy oh I see yeah okay so that's higher up I didn't go up there Hazardous area, keep out. It looks like a control room. Yay, yeah, cool. Those are those big vents that went up. So, danger, exclusion zone, keep out. So there's lots of old electric things. You're the one who likes stepping in water area to see if it's HV. Ooh. Live bus bars. Well, there was copper in them, but not anymore. They've all been cut. All been cut all the way along. I suppose this is just like a fu fuse room then. Mm. Gigantic power inlet fuse room. I wonder what. So you've got switches there and more switches there and readings. Thermal overload relay. Thermal overload says so temperature and it would switch a relay. Thermal overload relay. Wow, well, okay. Whew. I wasn't recording when I put the battery in. So anyway, right, we've just come into a little building we found down the end. This is the stores. Oh look, somebody's got a thing saying spray. Saying air. Spray. But we're on the back of the building, we'll see it in a sec. But this is this the storeroom around the back, garages. And uh, yeah, I think there's not a lot more really left to see. At the back of the building, whoops, a daisy up there, and possibly you can get to the roof because those those uh, steps seem to go quite high, didn't they? Mm hmm. Might be possible to get on the roof. So. 
so let's see. Oh, let's turn the old light up. Turn the iris open. Let's have a little light up the back of the building. Well, you don't really need it because you can see on the camera quite well. Let's just give it one bit of extra oomph. There you go. Oh, you can climb up onto some bits. Ladders up there. Wow. And there's ste the steps are down there, look, for the, for the absolute roof. Do you fancy giving it a go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This is uh, the bit where we don't like heights, but we're going to do it anyway. So these are the uh, backs to the air intakes, I believe they are. Fans that suck in the air. Now that outer door's open. Do you think the inner door's open so we could actually look down onto the chamber as well? And they don't seem to want you to go up here, so it probably means it is open and dangerous. The fact they've got that uh, in the way means fun. It's quite small. Small steps, yeah. So, they just don't want you to come in, not know what you're doing, and step off the edge, which is what I think we're about to see. Air sealed door with rubber, rubber air seals. Oh yes, very nice. And down here, oh, that's interesting. Wonder what that does then. There's a little uh, steps there. And, wow, lots of weird stuff here. Air filters and filter equipment. And, wow, a pulley. What, that, what does that do? Oh, that pulls this closed, man. Oh, my God. So, yes, but before you do it, <laughs> you're actually being held on by these to there. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're held on by these like this. And this little platform you're standing on is basically out. Whoa! We're back in the in the main room now. Hang on a sec. Let me just see if I got fog or crap on my lens. Hang on. I got to film this properly. So looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. But we're standing now on these wires here and this, this is pretty industrial it's pretty industrial so I think we're fairly safe but it's hinged it's hinged over there and we can lift this up via that pulley so we'll give that a go in a minute you can see where we are now Whoa. so you can see the uh, the inside of the chamber again and all the way over there and all the way on the bottom so should we see if we can do the honor and there's a little button here as well so it knows when the doors closed so maybe if the doors open it will shut everything down again it has to be fully closed in order for things to happen but does this go anywhere does it actually go very far don't know seems like there's a weight down here seems like there's some sort of big weight and it's on a is it on an arm like a it is actually on a spring arm Hang on. There's a there's a oh. there's some sort of weight underneath here that's moving that can move back and forth. So it might be for something that has to push out, I don't know. But it's uh, it's all underneath here. Let's have a hang on a sec, I'll just get you in there. Uh, it's supposed to do that. Yeah. So you can see the weight that's in there, like that. And here you've actually got the uh, the runners, so that will run back and forth. So what, what the hell is that for? Though? It goes out into the um, goes out into the open air space down there. I don't know. I don't know. It might seal it up. It might be. Might be that um, 
it slides and seals off the door. Mm -hmm. So that there's something there as well for some reason anyway. So, so well, it's not that way, it's that way. Right. So somebody wanna do the honours? Just you can do it. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna stand back here so I can see you doing that. That way, that's it, keep going. And see whether it locks as well. See whether there is a locking mechanism, it should make a noise and go clunk, clunk, clunk. Is it locking? Yeah. And is there a lock release? Can't see it, watch your fingers. Well, it seems to be locking and holding. It might be that you have to pull this up or down to kind of release. Do you want to keep doing it? See whether we can see this move. Oh, no. Can't do it. Might have been a two man job. Wow. Do you reckon putting that in would, would help? If we get this across, do you want to? Wait a sec, wait a sec. Nice. Right, there we go. Now we can stand fairly safely on that. And you can give that oh. a bit. Might be a two-man job. Anyway. Do you want to give him a go or do you want to film and I'll try and help? Yeah. Right, so if... Uh, yeah, Jess, maybe film yeah. if you don't mind. And if I stand on one side and you stand on the other, right, so so you'll be coming. We'll be able to be coming around, yeah. So yeah. So. Oh, it's coming up, look. Yeah. Okay, ready, steady, stay, stay filming that. Ready, steady, go. 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 It'll get easier as it comes up higher. Ready, steady, go. Right, does it hold? We let go. Bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. It's going to get easier as that comes up higher. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Right, Cindy. Go. Do you want to film us for a second, just show how we're getting it moving? We don't know how to do this now, look folks. <laughs> it's getting easier as it goes higher, because the angle's getting less and less with the weight. Okay, might as well film the thing. Oh. Seems if you go quicker, it seems easier, doesn't it? Yeah. I hope you can be oiled in a while. <laughs> Does it say LRT in the corner? Uh -huh. <laughs> Record, low yeah. left, great. Right. Because I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mad. Madness. Right, okay.
this which is a piston or something maybe to push it when it needs to open you it gives it a push away anyway so this properly goes out there I think it's a spring I think it could be a hydraulic spring it's hydraulic fluid that's what those things are over there for it's hydraulics mm -hmm. This plunger is pushed back, but when they need to open the door, because it can't, they put a bit of fluid in it, the hydraulic plunger pushes the door and it's, it starts to want to go then, so it stops the stiffness. But there we go. Good job. You've got to be careful around these things, because if they, if they go, they'll cut your head off. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Thank you all. Oh, Right, now, I don't know how bad the rain is, but let's go and see what's up this other bit then. Oh, it's raining a little bit. Not too bad. The, uh, oops, so I keep the lens facing down a bit. Don't get so much, uh, don't get so much, oh crap. But let's just pop it up there for a sec so you can just see where we're going. We're going up there. So let's do it. Might not get so much rain here because of the, uh, the stairs protecting us. Nuclear bomb proof <laughs> concrete on the, the roof here. Yeah. We're up high, Mom. Oh, yeah, rain. Okay, so best thing to do with this is just not look down. Don't think about it too much. Closer. One more set of steps after this, then probably torrential wind and rain. Not too bad. Probably one of the best views around town. Let's go and have a look. Whoa. So this is what we're dealing with. It's 
So there you go. Got this. Goes on the roof. Some sort of uh, well chamber over there. So step down. I don't remember seeing some of the other crews coming up on the roof. Weird, isn't it? You'd think they would. It's a steep one. Can I look at this first before we do the steep one? So some sort of uh, water or emergency water. Might be, might be for fire or something. Sprinkler system, emergency water, up high so we could naturally, naturally flow down. And we've got, ooh, catwalk. Uh oh, catwalk. Not sure with that one. Not gonna risk that. Means you have to duck down quite badly as well. So what do we got over the back here? He's pretty stiff. So yeah, just the same. Whoa, it just drops down. Oh, it just drops down the same distance as we just saw. Yeah. So there's only one more area we can go. Up the very steep steps. Excuse me. So oh, these are steep. So let's get my camera pointed up. Whoa. Okay, they look in good condition. Quite strong. I mean, this building is bomb proof with concrete. I'm sure they'd have a hell of a job demolishing this place. But here we are, high up on top of the building. Yeah, man. So... Oh, I can feel it bounce. I can feel the... I feel the concrete sort of boom, 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 boom. Because it's such a large area, I am just going to walk around the edge. <laughs> I mean, why am I doing this? This thing has just gone through a hurricane and it, it, it withstood it, so why am I worried? Forest over there. So let me just uh, let me just take you all the way across. But it is bouncing. This concrete is bouncing that we're on. So this must be the big, the big room, the big chamber. Oh, I can feel it bouncing now as they walk walk across. I feel it bouncing. Whoa, and there's a thing off the, off the, off up here. What the hell's down here? What the hell? Oh, it's another, it's another little walkway. Very naughty of them to take that off unless it's just blown off. It's probably blown off actually. But it's a concrete building, so I don't think it's gonna hurt too much. All right, this is off the back. They've got so uh, Ah, now this is interesting. I think I know what this is. Oh, it might be, it might be a transmitter dish. It might be a transmitter dish, but it's... Yeah, hang on. Oh yeah, it is a transmitter. It's a high frequency transmitter, but, but it's pointing down 
there. So what's down there of any worth? God knows. It's sending some sort of signal down. I thought it might be a radar reflector. They have these reflectors around airfields and then they bounce the signal back very strongly so they can see it on the radar screen where particular buildings and things are. I thought it was a bounce back, but they're normally shaped like a square, a cutaway of a square, a cube rather, a cube. So we've got the, uh, the back half of the building here. So that's right down to the, uh, right down to the intake fans. There. And... You're right. Somebody's sneezing over there. They got another one over there, another transmitter going over in that direction. So God knows what it was. Good. Might have been an alarm system. But it's going, I think it's going from the corner of the work sheds where they do work there. It's just bringing the signal up to the work, to the, to the roof, and then it's probably sending it across town there. Or it might be internet. They might be getting internet there and then beaming it through to the thing over there but again you know it'd be cheap enough to get a landline in for that sort of thing but maybe this was pre-landline this was uh, when they needed high-speed internet before the net was out there so I'm pretty good now I think I've had my fill I might shine a big old torch just to take the piss a little bit so why don't we just get my big bad boy out and just light up the forest and everything around like a, like, like it's Christmas. So you ready for this? Make sure I don't fall off. Okay, ready? One, two. Let me just make sure everything's in focus a second. Are we kind of in focus? Hang on. Oh, we're not. There we are. There we go. Ready for this? Three, two, one. Hang on. Three, two, one. There you go. It's the forest. There's the works, works place over there. I'll probably come over now. They'll be going, oh, the hell's on the roof? Be like, bad boys in the house. They probably know we're here now. I reckon so. I think they're over there. So I've just shone I've just shone the light at the security thing. I don't know. Uh, well, if they were looking out the window at the time, they might have seen it, but there's a big uh, big old transformer station around the back, which looks like it's quite well secured, so uh, and there's lots of alarms around there. So, in fact, that way is the best way to come, which is where we said come in, that way. Um, and this bad boy here, that bad boy over there. So, yeah. It's a bad symbol, isn't it? Sort of. Yeah, let's uh, hit the road. Can I give that to you a second? Yeah. My uh, torch back to the pocket. Thanks. It's windy, but it's not too bad, and it's no. not raining. It's quite good. I'm done, so let's uh, film my perilous descent. I swear I can only point this down. Come on, what's it doing? It won't turn. Idiot. Idiot. What's it doing? Thank you. I sort of filmed something. It's quite steep. Right. Why? So I think we've thoroughly done this place then. Yeah. Mm. Oh good, I really liked it. That's crazy. 
Yeah. I like the bounce on the ceiling as well. Because it's like an unsupported ceiling. It's probably got bars, uh, RCJs or whatever. What do they call them? R. Um, the I beams, you know, the metal I beams. Uh, RSJs. RSJs. It's probably got RSJs going across there in concrete. But it does bounce because it's not supported on the sides. Well, not like, uh, not pillared off. Uh, so, let's have a look at the old uh, scary, scary way down. Whoa. Okay, let's just point my light down because it's blinding the old uh, thing. Here we go. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Try not to look. Doosh, doosh, doosh. It's quite good actually because we, we can't see. It's dark off the edges. It just lights the stairs up. If we turn the light off, it'll probably be a different kettle of fish. <laughs> Do a cheeky film on the way out then and see whether we get like told to leave. Yeah. Upon which I'll say absolutely, let's leave. Right, well. Still here, still accessible, still worth a look. Probably quite nice in the daytime as well when you've got a bit more distance view. And you probably see the runway of uh, Farnborough Airport, and you'll see the aircraft taking on, taking off here, because we're just on the back of the airfield. So you want to be not flying your drones here unless you've got permission, because it's an active airfield. If you didn't know that, and if you didn't know that, you weren't using uh, drone aware, which would tell you that it's a bit naughty flying here. So. Just ring them up and ask permission. Anyway, enough patronising crap from uh, your mother. So. Oh. I'm tempted to go uh, uh, put this away right? and just uh, do it handheld if necessary. Right, I'm going to stop and take it off the gimbal because it's getting wet. Right, we're, we're down by the security thing. There's a f road that goes that way. God knows where that goes. And then there's this, which seems to sort of suggest it leads out street lights. So we're going to try and sneak past the old, uh, just walk straight past security. So I've got a generator going over there or something. And there's lights on in a small hut. So that would suggest humans. It's alright, just making sure he's not fuzzed. First up. There's light holes on the right hand side. Oh yeah, there's a there's a window open over there. Walking like a cat with sellotape on there, I was like crabbing sideways. So, this is the way we just come in and 
Oh, let me get my torch out to that pocket. It's in there. Out the way. There's a in there. Where? Can you see him? Should we go and like walk up to the window and take the footage of him? That'd be cheeky. He's illiterate in there. If we take the piss and go and go and do it. How are we gonna get out there? Should we go and tap the window and go, oi mate, I don't think we should be in here, should we? Be like, get out. It's because it's um facing down the wrong way. You hold on to it, say. Oh, bollocks. Come on, old chap. Don't book the boat now. There we go. Should do this up. Should we'll film him when he doesn't know what's going on. But how are we going to get out there? That's the big question. just to like tap on the window and go all right mate right let's find out where we are then there look and we've got to cut across to the we've got to cut across to the road so there's the blue spot where we are we've got to cut across there but can we cut through there it's definitely the way we need to go ah look 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 if we keep going down this lane towards the other bit look we can cut across and come out there and then we'll be pretty much on that main road. So let's keep walking, take a left, and come out there. Because otherwise we're going to tap on the window and get him out there. And she might, he might not appreciate. He might be bored. He looked like he, he's learned to sleep standing up, or you know, to make it look like he's sleeping. But expensive equipment, yeah. Then I'm walking. walking. This is the escape, folks. It doesn't get more real than this. It's about as real as it gets. Just please, no more mud. Tripping off all these infrared alarms now, probably. <laughs> all this money's worth of diggers looking. 
cool chap, having to stay awake because of people like us. It's alright though, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nick a digger. I ain't got any way to stick it. Oh, slight mud. Mud starting now. Oh here it becomes here it starts. Oh, here we go. Yeah, whoa. 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 yeah, better. It's better on this side. Oh god. So we've got to take a left, so that means probably down there then. Laser. Lord save us, please. It's like they're just knocking on his window and going, mate, mate. We're so scared, there was a ghost. Can you help us? Let us out. I suppose for the sake of posterity, we do have to try to get out here without being caught. I don't think you can see us now. Come on in. Oh, compass calibrated. Right, yeah, we're walking towards the correct place. We're halfway there. We're like a quarter, we're a third of the way there to the to the fence line. Is, that, is my thing like mega fuzzed? Yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy. A little bit fuzzed, it's all right. So yeah, we're not far. I could see his little security uh, monitor was just on the gate. So they're obviously just recording people coming in and out of the gate. And it was a tiny little screen. So it's uh, unlikely that unless they got one of those infrared cameras that detect your movement around the fence line, there's a, there's a gate post, gate sentry thing over there. So that might be an easy way in and out. Look. Or is it just a loo? This looks like the road. Please don't be three lines of barb on the top of that fence. Three lines of barb. Oh dear. It's the old military uh, military gates. So, is there an easy way in and out? Oh, Harris fencing on the other side, and it looks like it goes through. Oh yeah. Big old uh, electric cables into the water. Did they make it any more awkward? Yeah, we'll get out through there now, I'm sure. Whew. Somehow. Even if we just climb over the top of the Harris. It's annoyingly uh, awkward, this stuff. Wow. Right. In the corner looks quite easy because it's got a joint so we can push ourselves up. I might uh, ask for your assistance here now. Get my old uh, gloves out. screw ups then. Oh. Go on, Jesus. 
Go on. Sorry, there she goes. I was looking more then at the action than I was pointing the camera. Warning, Varitech, Veritech security. <laughs> Bloody hell, better, better be careful. Perimeter protection, static security operative, static being the operative word, right? Mobile response. It means that when they go from being static to moving around, which doesn't happen very often, they become mobile. Yeah. Doesn't happen often though. Only on Christmas, apparently. Come on, boys. Let's go mobile. <laughs> oh, my leg hurts. Right, well, nearly there. I think it's out to the main road, isn't it? Take a right. I think so. Yep. Cross over the main road then. Could be a oh, it could be a flyover. And then we's out of here. So that's basically it folks, there is no more, that's it, that's it, go home, go home, go back to your wife and children, or boyfriend, whatever, whatever suits your fancy, thanks for watching.